Today I thought we'd take a look at some uh, piston robots and we're going to start with five variations that I have up here on the shelf. This first one here uh, that has the uh, plastic legs and metal feet, this is made in Taiwan, this version, SJM, and they basically, these will all have the uh, same function. You have the moving pistons and the washing feet, see-through body, lots of litho, because you've got uh, clear body parts and then you've got litho all the way around and inside the head. Just makes for a very, very nice robot. It takes uh, two D C cells in the back. And I'll put those in my pocket so as we move along we'll have batteries for our other projects. But give you a peek at the other variations I have of this uh, piston robot. So this is the one we just ran. This one is also made in Taiwan. It has all metal legs and metal feet. Uh, same litho, same ear styles. And this one hiding back here. These last three are all made in Japan. They all have plastic legs. You can see this one has um, different litho. has a dark litho instead of the gold. And this one up here has a different type of ears. And they're all shorter than the uh, two Taiwan guys. Same functions. So next let's take a look at the piston head robot. And what's cool about this is it's a walking robot and the uh, eight pistons that move are up inside the head and the head can be turned. And I'll have to place you down here on the ground while I, while I grab him. And here he is. Uh, it's two C cells in the back. the pistons, light up all pistons all move, and of course, well, there's supposed to be a walking action. There we go. Looks like the walking action is a bit intermittent. Looks like this guy may have to go to the shop to find out what's going on there. Yep, not quite sure what's hanging up on the walking action, so after the video, he'll hit the bench and I'll find out what's going on. Alright, and right down below the piston head, I think we want to go down below next. There's a couple newer ones. They were uh, made by Metal House. See, uh, one of them I put batteries in. I don't remember which one. Not that one. The interesting thing is they made these for two uh, AA cells, you know, two penlight batteries. I think because they needed the room for the uh, pistons, which go all the way back when they shove them in the body like that. You got the good piston action. You got these uh, spring things up coming up out of the shoulders, antennas. You got the walking action. Very good, smooth uh, running toy. Got the full D cell battery box door, and then you open it up, and there's just two little uh, AA batteries hiding in there. Cool, huh? Made in Japan. Two versions the white one and the brown one that I have, anyway. And let's see. I don't know if I'm going to walk right by something. Oh, we're real close. We might as well look at... Well, let's go over to this side. I think we can see it better, maybe. Right about here. This is called the uh, Engine Robot. You can see the box for its back here. SH, made in Japan. And... Uh, this one is not only a walking and lit moving piston, but it's also a smoke blowing one and it runs on two C cells. Has a nice uh, cadence to the piston action. And the smoking's already started. I don't know how well it shows up. But if I get it near this light, does it show up better? There you can see it. Actually, it blows smoke rings. Very, uh, very nice robot. I like that one a lot. Let's 
get those batteries out. You know, I'll take them out now because I'll forget by the time I'm done shooting this video and leave them in there and then they'll leak. Get that there. Any on that upper shelf? No, I think we're coming over to here. And this is one of, actually one of my more favorite ones. This little guy here. And his box, which is back here, is all in Japanese, so I can't tell you what it says, but it probably says something like Piston Robot. And he has the same kind of uh, piston action. You've got the, the tip-up head action, the two C-cells in the back. I guess I like it just because it uh, runs so nice and quietly and machine-like. Has the nice cadence and looks good when it's lit up. Linear walker. For an early uh, Japanese piston robot made in Japan. Put those batteries in my pocket. And then I thought next in this area, I think we were going over to this side. That we'd take a look at these two bad boys down here. Space Commander Robot. Now all these uh, different versions of that same body style were also sold. As you can see the boxes behind them as Space Commander Robot. But uh, those are gun shaking ones and these ones right here were piston ones. And they, uh, they walk. Two C cells. You have the. Gotta get this where I can see where I'm at. You got the moving pistons. You got a light. You got the walking action. Guess I'm not getting far enough back. Get the whole robot in the picture, right? Let's take a look at the uh, the other one here. Does it say anything on the back you might find interesting? Uh, made in Japan. I'm sorry. Made in Hong Kong. And you got uh, a little logo type thing on there. I don't know why I said Japan. And this one's got a, a finicky switch. Which you got to get in just the right position. There we go. These batteries are a little bit uh, better charged. He's up a little brighter. So you got the same pistons, the locking action. And you can see the boxes back there. They're kind of playing with a photo on them so that. You know, kind of dates them to be more in the late 70s and probably 80s. But uh, we have lots and lots of more piston robots, but I think that's all for this episode. i got to try to remember to go back and check my uh, piston head robot and find out why he's not walking. I want to do that now before I forget.